Welcome back gamers to the official Zap hosting YouTube channel. My name is Ellie and in today's tutorial I will show you how to set up a DX admin Redem server with warp core in just a 5 minutes. So let's get started. First as always, visit our website zap-hosting.com and login into your Zap account. If you don't have an account yet, you can register here for free. Now navigate to the 5M bar, select the Xadmin and click on the green start button. Here you can configure your own server to your liking, like server location, RAM, CPU, slots and IVP4 is important if you want to protect your server from incoming DDoS attacks. Finally select the payment method, but before you confirm your order, here is a little gift from us. 50% off voucher code, which you can use by clicking here on this voucher and typing red and minus TX admin. After you confirm your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now open your server in your Zap interface. From here, make sure your server is online. Then scroll down until you find the TX admin interface box and click on the green link. You will now need to log in with your username and password. For this, navigate back to the Zap interface where under the link you will find the username and the password. So simply copy and paste your credentials in the box and click on login. After logging in, you will find the TX admin setup page. Click on next. Now write down the service name that will be used for the TX admin interface and click on next. Click on popular recipe option. Here select CFX default redem if you only want a base server without any scripts, but if you want a server with resources ready for roleplay select warp core. After choosing your preferred option, click save and then click on the go to recipe deployer button. Now if you want, you can make changes to the recipe. I will leave it as it is, but once you have edited everything to your liking, click on next. Here you don't need to change anything, everything is already automatically filled by us. So just click on run recipe, wait for the deployment to finish and click on next. Now you will find your server configuration file. Feel free to change it to your liking or you can also do this later. I will leave it by default, so simply click on save and run server button. And here you go. So you have now successfully finished setting up your Red MTX admin server and have full control of the interface. Before joining the server, you have to add your Steam Web API key to the config file. To do so, navigate to the CFG Editor tab, which can be found right here on the left. Next, paste the link in your browser search bot that can be found in the video description. If needed, log in with your Steam account and simply copy the Web API key and paste it into the config file right here. After that, save the file and restart your server. The server is now online and you can try joining it, but before that, let me quickly show you what you will find on your TX admin interface. On the dashboard page, you will find players and performance chart. You can also start, restart, stop the server, make announcement, kick all players and schedule a restart. On the players page, you can see how many players are online, ban users and manage the server's whitelist if you have enabled it. On the console page, you can check the server's console, download the log file, clear the console, make an announcement and restart the server. On the resources page, you can see all in all resources and if needed restart or stop them. On the server log page you can see all the players log files like chat messages, commands, menu actions and much more. On the CVG editor page you can edit the server configuration file. On the admin manager page you can easily add new admins to your server and manage the permissions. On the TX admin log page you can see the TX admins console logs and action logs. On the settings page you have many options and settings like auto resource, whitelist mode, the option to enable one thing and much more. On the master action page you can and reset the server, back up the database, clean the database, import bands and much more. Now let's try joining the server. Simply launch your demo on your PC. Click on play, in the search bar search for a server, select it and then click on connect. And as you can see you have now successfully connected to your own Redem server and if you want to open TX admin, simply type TX admin command in the chat. Enjoy! If you have any questions, you can contact our support by trading a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your Zap server.